Time for baseball of the AAA variety as the show brings you coverage from the International League. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders and the Pawtucket Red Sox. Stepping in, Zach Granite, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Full count now, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Pops this one up. Chatham in foul ground, but this will land untouched. And he lays off, ball four, and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. Stepping into the box, Tyler Wade. Tyler Wade. One one. He's running. Strike taken. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. This is line to left. That's in there. Base hit. Granite rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. The first baseman. Brandon. Stepping in now, Brandon Wagner. Still one and two. Wade aboard here at first with nobody out. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Now a move over to first. A dive, but he's back. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Yanked hard but foul to the right. The 2 2 one more time is laid okay. off and the count runs full. Defense has got to be on their toes right here. 3 2 count. Runner on first has got some serious wheels. You know he's probably being put in motion. To second for one. On to first and they get them both. Now to the plate, Kellen Deglin, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Count remains full. This is pulled into right. But a little unlucky there as it's hit right to him in right field for the final out of the inning. So stepping in, Marco Hernandez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. On uh, that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. Two balls, two strikes. Two two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Another 2 2 offering. On the ground to the right side. And that is through into right field for a single. Into the box now, Marcus Wilson. And there's ball two now. Two balls, one strike. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. Jonathan Lucroy is on deck. The three one. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. There's one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Stepping in, Jonathan Lucroy trying to get him started again following the double play. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. Ranging back is Granite. And a long run, but he's there to track it down. Nice range, and the side is retired.
Second inning set to go, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Ben Ruda. Count is one and two now. And the pitch. Hard hit to first. He's got it. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And the leadoff man set down to start the second. Digging in the switch hitter, Jason Dominguez. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And that misses, so it's a full count three and two. Mandy Alvarez will be next. And it's fouled away. The three, two, one more time. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw into second. The tag, and he is out at second. That is seven. The third base hit. Number into two. the box, Mandy Man. Alvarez. Alvarez. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple that of innings is. of work. The short stop. Now at the Anthony plate, Anthony Volpe, Volpe hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Josh Akami, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Here now the 2-2. Popped him up. Alvarez backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Bobby Dahlbeck. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right. And that'll move the count to one and two now. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. To first and Hap's rolling now two away. So coming to the plate, CJ Chatham, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Fouled off. Another one two delivery. Ball. Playing two. Two, two. Fouled away. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouled off some tough pitches. Two two count. And he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Payoff pitch one more time. Count still full, three and two. High in the air out to center field. Dominguez is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Late now is the designated hitter, Anthony Siegler, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Now the one and one pitch. Ball. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Reined in. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now digging in, Zach Granite. He scored back. after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. Hot shot down the line, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. 
out in front as he rolls over it to second. Scooped up. And that's the second out. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Yeah, and he's got to feel super confident right now. He's the only real offense in this game. Guys on the mound have been executing every pitch. Count even at two and two. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Bottom of the third now, and standing in is the DH, Nick Longy. Turned on down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. At the plate, Tate Matheny. A ball and two strikes now. And he fouls this one off. Nobody out, runner on first. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Fielded cleanly. The second for one. On to first, and it's another double play. Already two of them here in the first three innings so far. So base is empty now after the double play. And digging in is the outfielder, Cesar Coelho. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. And he lays off again, ball three. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The second baseman. Stepping up now, Marco Hernandez. Second at bat here. He reached via a single to lead off the home first. Not an easy thing to do when you're in a leadoff spot, but that was a good piece of hitting in his first at bat, an opposite field base hit, which leads me to believe that this guy's going to cover both sides of the plate. Hit on the ground to third. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. All set for the start of the fourth. And here comes the first baseman, Brandon Wagner. Popped him up. Dahlbeck over to his right. Makes the play one away. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kellen Deglin hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. And it's fouled away. Full count still. Payoff pitch one more time. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Coelho back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Now so striding Mike in, Ben Ruda. Ben. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Digging in now, Jason Dominguez. He was cut down at second, attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. The third baseman, number three, Mandy. In now, Alvarez. Mandy Alvarez. Okay. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, 
goes up. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Marcus Wilson. The 1 1. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. One ball, one ball two strikes. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. And it's gone into the monster seats. Standing in now, Jonathan Lucroy. Popped him up. Alvarez has room in foul territory. One away. Stepping into now the box, up. Josh Akami. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Akimi. The 1-1. One, one. It's a fastball taken high for a ball. Two and two now. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Hit sharply on the ground. He's got it. Throw gets him, two down. Coming to the plate now, Bobby Dahlbeck comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Hit hard. But this will be a foul ball. Lays off two and two now. Bounce to first. Scooped up. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Now batting. Striding forward now is the Anthony. DH, Anthony Siegler. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Two and two. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east west we came up playing. Full count, three and two. And boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now. And in to hit next, it'll be Zach Granite. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. The 2-2. Two -two. No. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here. From down in the count 0-2 to, to work the count back to 3-2. And, and he's seen a lot of pitches, too. Matheny has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Digging in, Tyler Wade. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First and second now, one man out. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. Borderline pitch right there, but as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. Strike three called, and now he's one out away from getting out of this. Kyle Hart trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Brandon Wagner will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. One and one. Here it is. 
hard hit ball to second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Bases full now following the error. And now it'll be the catcher, Kellen Deglin. And it's one and two. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Now a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and stepping up as the shortstop, C.J. Chatham. Here now the 2-2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Next will be the designated now hitter, back. Nick Longy. One for hitter. one after a single his first time up. Longy. Now the one and one pitch. Taken, strike two. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Two balls and two strikes now. So a full count now. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. And, whoa, awfully close. But it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Now batting, Tate Matheny. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Matheny. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Bouncer up the middle. And that's through for a hit. To the plate now, Cesar Puello. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. This one's flared toward left center. Left fielder coming on. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Now back, better fielder, Marcus Wilson. Into the box now, Marcus Wilson. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And he tries to get to the backhand, but it gets on by. One run scores. And the second run will score. It's now a 4-1 to one ball game. Clark Schmidt takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Stepping in now, Jonathan Lucroy. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now batting. Digging in to try it again, Josh Ockamy. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 1-1. One -one. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. On the ground to third. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. set for the start of the inning and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Ben Ruda one and one here it is no you won he'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down and an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away wow the battle 
Settling in now, Jason Dominguez. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Ready for another chance? Mandy Alvarez. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system, especially. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and set to go is the third baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Line to the right side, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Now back, the fifth stop, CJ. Into the box, C.J. Chatham. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Now, back, the now with the plate, hitter. Nick Longy. Nick Longy. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Ah. Here's a called strike on the curveball, 1-2. One one That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. One there. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. <laughs> Leading off the inning, Anthony Volpe, and they'll need him to get something going here. Here's the one and one delivery. Skied into straightaway right. Coelho is there and he has it for the out. Into the box, Anthony Siegler. It was a walk in his last trip. We're in the seventh now. Four to one our score to this point. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. Heading out towards shallow right. Coelho in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. So the lineup now flips back. over and digging in. Zach Granite back. hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Rolled slowly down the first That's baseline, down. but a foul ball, one and two now. Here's the pitch. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And the throw to first ends the inning. We join with a traditional Striding in, Tate Matheny. He singled his last time up. Here now the 2-2. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. The back. Digging in once again, Cesar Puello. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Fouled off. The 1 2. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Grounded to short. Fielded cleanly. On to first, and there were two down. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Marco Hernandez. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Reined in. 
And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Brian Johnson has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 51. Ready for another shot now. Tyler Wayne. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, pretty deflating at bat right there, Matty. Not only for him, but the team as well. He's got to find a way to pull the trigger. Can't get caught guessing with runners in scoring position. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Swing and a liner. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Now batting, the first baseman, Brandon Wagner. And now, Brandon Wagner. No contact there, and it's one and two. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Two and two the count. Misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now. Three and two. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Wilson comes on now, and he has it one down. Ready now, Kellen Deglin. He's batting cleanup, but has been shut down so far at the plate. 0 for 3. Here's the 1-1. One -one. No. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. And the runner back easily. Down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Here's a pop-up now. Dahlbeck is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. Ready once again, Ben now Ruda. Back. 0 for Let's 2 for him to this point. Ben Ruda. The 1-1 one -one is yeah. taken for strike two. Can't waste getting the leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. And he missed with it up and in to even things at two and two. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. The batter, the center fielder, Jason. Dominguez. So now to the plate, Jason Dominguez. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Fouled away. Two down, runners at first and second. Three and two now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in the outfielder, Marcus Wilson. The one-two. it back up the middle scooped up throw not in time and he beats it out for his third hit tonight now back the pitcher Jonathan at the plate now Jonathan Lucroy this is on the ground over to first he lays out but he can't make the play and it's through into right now back first baseman yeah to the plate now, Josh Akami. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. 
I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Change up too low. He walked him. Dan Otero is summoned in the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. Bobby Dahlbeck will stand in against the new pitcher, and he couldn't ask for a better scenario as he stands in with the bases loaded and nobody out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Catch is made in medium deep left center. Here comes the runner for the plate. So add one more on the sack fly as that'll make this a five to one game. Into the box now, C.J. Chatham. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Now Into the box now, Nick Longy. A hit in two tries so far. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. But the recovery will come too late, and the bases are loaded now. Number 32. Into the box now, Tate Matheny. Just hung in there on that one. Bases are loaded here, two down. Now this is on the ground a second. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. Austin Bryce comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. So digging in now, Mandy Alvarez. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Now the 2-1 pitch. No. Anthony Volpe is on deck. The 3-1. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now with the plate, Anthony Volpe. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. in there one and two now one ball. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled either way that was a really good curveball right there move on to the next pitch but have that in the back of your mind now that designated hitter Anthony standing in now Anthony Siegler oh. and he misses again ball three well he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. The 3-2 pitch. And this is popped up near second base. Chatham camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. Zach Granite the next to bat. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. The 1-1. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. I expect this series to be a battle. So to take the first game at home is definitely the way you want to start it out. Give that home crowd a reason to come back tomorrow for what will hopefully be another solid performance. Tonight's game comes to an end. 5-1 to one, the final score. Pawtucket used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Kyle Hart earns the victory in relief in this one, his seventh of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious Pawtucket Red Sox. Five runs, ten hits, one error. They left seven men on base. For the Rail Riders, 
one run on six hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 49 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.